Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the initial ideas, uh, design ideas for Camborne Muse. My name is David Hees. I'm the Net Zero Project Manager at uh, Lancaster West uh, Neighbourhood Team. I'll be chairing this evening's meeting. I'd like to thank you all for coming along to discuss the refurbishment of Camborne Muse. Just some quick housekeeping. Uh, this meeting is being recorded for residents who can't make it uh, and will be put on our communication channels. So please keep yourself on mute unless you're speaking. And we do encourage a camera on policy uh, if you're comfortable with that. So please do turn it on, especially uh, if and when you are speaking. As most of you know, um, Lancaster West Estates uh, has received funding to refurbish the entire state to a high standard with many eco-friendly related interventions as part of the proposed works. This is in line with uh, Lancaster West Neighbourhood team's commitment to create a model 21st century estate, uh, which is net zero carbon by 2030. Not only will this make the homes more energy efficient and comfortable, but will also have a positive impact on uh, energy bills to address fuel poverty in general. This meeting will last uh, about half an hour to 45 minutes and will run as follows. ECD architects uh, who are working on this block will give a detailed presentation on the initial design ideas for Camborne Muse based on the top 10 priorities and resident feedback uh, so far. Uh, and then this webinar will also be followed by a uh, in-person pop-up event in the courtyard of Campbell Muse on the 26th of August. So uh, that's res so that residents will have a chance to meet with the architects face to face uh, and ask any questions. Can I have the next slide, please, Loriana? So just a quick introduction to the Lancaster West neighborhood team. Uh, James Caspel is our neighborhood director, which many of you will know. Then there's Andros Luizo, the Head of Refurbishment, Design and Delivery. Bumi Shakoni, the Senior Project Manager. Alfie Peacock, Refurbished Design and Delivery Project Officer. And then myself, David Hees, the Net Zero Project Manager. Um, so this team is working on the external refurbishment of uh, the block, which is all outside of the buildings themselves and the communal areas. Um, which ECD Architects will give you more information on now. So without further ado, I'll hand over to you, Loriana, the uh, lead architect for this block. Thank you, David. So yeah, welcome everyone. I'm very glad to be presenting to you all here today. Um, we have here our team, um, James Trainer, Managing Director of ECD Architects, myself, Associate Director and Head of Sustainability, I'm Gloriana Padron. And here today as well, we have Linda Odiase, Senior Architect, and Laura Texeira, Architectural Assistant, and Federica Ranali, Architectural Assistant as well. Okay. So as you know, for the last couple of years, you have been part of the co-design sessions organized by the Lancaster West Neighboring Team, which includes identifying your top 10 priorities for your blog. The Lancaster West Neighboring Team has been working with us an array, and an array of other consultants who are addressing all your priorities and concerns. ECD are working alongside these consultants to design the external refurbishment of your blog. In the past, you have said that these are your top 10 priorities. Uh, windows, kitchens, bathrooms, block entry system, communal entrances, relocation of bins, pest control, boiler renew renewal, cover exposed pipes and move exposed boilers. These priorities may or may not have changed over the past few years, but our intention is to restart those conversations directly so that you can tell us exactly what works and what doesn't work for you. We want to hear from you directly, and that's why we have arranged for this webinar session today so that you can be better informed about the options that will be presented to you all during the next round of residence co-design events in person. We'll hold a pop of events, as David said, at Camber Muse on the afternoon of the 26th of August. 
We have visited and surveyed Cambor Muse. This included an array of technical surveys, such as measure surveys, from which we now have a 3D virtual model of the blocks and the external, the external part of the building, but also two unoccupied flats. We also undertook thermographic images from the outside and other internal monitoring of two, of, of two unoccupied flats. You can see in the color photos how the existing blocks are leaking heat at a great rate, particularly around window frames, corners, the brick setbacks, and vents and boiler flues. We, we have been commissioned to explore options to improve the energy efficiency of your blocks and make Cambor Muse a 21st century state. For that, we'll improve the envelope of the building, which in other words are the walls, the windows, the roof, to reduce the heat demand and carbon emissions along with maximizing fire safety. These are three tiers of proposed measures, the bronze, silver and gold, the goal being the highest level of improvements in terms of energy, which would include PV panels and battery storage. So you can see how the bronze tier, we are including the double glaze uh, to upgrade the double glaze windows, no, in, no new insulation to the existing walls, and to upgrade the mechanical extra ventilation, just normal extra fan. For the silver tier, we would upgrade your existing windows to triple glazed windows, install new wall insulation, and add new insulation to the roof and a mechanical ventilation with heat recovery. And the gold tier is exactly the same as the silver one, but with battery storage and PVs. I'm going to go later on in more detail uh, about all of these aspects. So we're here today to present you with our proposals for the installation of new wall insulation, upgrade the windows and install a mechanical ventilation system with heat recovery. Other consultants will work with us to provide design proposals for the door entry systems, lighting, CCTV, landscaping works, plumbing and heating, below ground drainage, new kitchens and bathrooms. Your current buildings have double glazed sash windows. They are old and inefficient. They are cold to the touch and drafty. The thermographic images shown here shows this very clearly. You have masonry cavity walls and we need to confirm the presence or not of any existing insulation, which if present may be in poor condition and not perform as expected. And finally, you have poorly insulated pitch roofs, which also leak uh, a, a lot of heat. So why upgrade your homes? Poorly insulated homes use a lot of heat to keep warm, and this means expensive bills. Summer overheating and very cold winters are an increasing problem with climate change. Drafts and temperature swings with poor heat distribution is also a problem where you could feel different temperatures in different parts of the room or even your body. Cold spots in your walls that can lead to condensation and more growth. And we know that some of your kitchens and bathrooms have condensation and more growth, and this is due to a deficient ventilation. So what can we do about it? We're considering some options to install wall insulation, either internally or externally, upgrade the windows from poor double glazed windows to a new high spec triple glazed windows, to upgrade the roof insulation either internally or externally, and finally to upgrade the ventilation by installing a mechanical ventilation with heat recovery system to each property. This is called an MVHR. Cambor Muse, as most other buildings from the same period, is currently losing heat via uncontrolled air leakage, which is called infiltration. Also, walls, ventilation, windows, floors and roofs. This is something that we need to address as part of the external refurbishment of your block, which will help Lancaster West to become a carbon neutral state. You can see in the pie chart here how most of the heat losses come from the external walls, the uncontrolled air leakage that I just mentioned, through pipes, vents and openings, 
then from the ventilation, the windows, the floors and roofs. We estimated the existing heat demand of your blocks, and that is the big red rectangle here in the baseline model. We have then explored two refurbishment scenarios to the basic building regulations requirements, the ACB standard and the Enerfit or PASIFO standard. We would recommend having the ACB's retrofit standard as an achievable target for Cambor Muse, which will generate a reduced heat demand of about 79%. The ACB is the Association for Environment Conscious Buildings, which have a great retrofit standard, and the Passive House and its equivalent for refurbishment, that is called Enerfit, is another energy standard that is a bit more difficult to achieve, but also potentially possible for these blocks. Both these standards are currently best practice in the whole world for achieving energy efficiency in existing buildings. They are both methodologies that set specific targets and criteria and help designers and contractors to achieve highly efficient and comfortable homes. So with regards to the insulation options, we have two options here, either internal or external insulation. This is often referred to as IWI or EWI. IWI for internal wall insulation and EWI for external wall insulation. So I'm going to first talk about external wall insulation. In this option, we will allow for a layer of non-combustible insulation to cover the external face of the facade, topped with a finishing layer. For example, brick slips, render, or a combination of both. Triple glazed windows and efficient doors would be installed in the new outer layer. This system offers a quick installation process which provides high levels of insulation, fire protection and acoustic attenuation. External wall insulation can be fixed from the outside with minimal disruption to yourselves and no internal area losses. EWI allows for the whole building to be wrapped in insulation, therefore eliminating all thermal bridges and avoiding heat and air leakage from within your homes. You can see in this section here how the existing walls and floors are shown in white and the new external insulation and brick slip finish is shown in yellow. This, the external insulation, is our preferred option for the walls because if it provides the less disruption to yourselves and the best performance with no internal area loss. We prepare some visuals with different palettes of materials and colors to show you what's possible. In option one, we aim to replicate the existing red brick with some darker setbacks between the windows. In option two, we're looking, to a lot, we're looking for a lighter yellowish brick, which will provide con contrast against the darker brick, a brown brick here. And finally, in option three, where we have shown the, uh, a beige render against the same uh, brown, darker brick. There are infinite possibilities, colors and finishes. And over the next few months, we would like to explore this further with you. For the internal wall insulation option, or IWI, the proposal is to remove the internal wall finishes of your homes and install a layer of non-combustible insulation to the internal face of the, of the external walls, plus a new internal finish. This system offers a reduction in heat loss through the walls and there's no change to the external appearance of the buildings. By using the thinnest high performance insulation, there will be approximate 1 to 3% loss area within each flat. Installing internal wall insulation is a very disruptive process as all internal fixtures and fittings will need to be removed from each room and furniture needs to be relocated. It is also highly likely that residents will need to decant their properties for a period of time. In some cases, installing IWI would, could result in risk of interstitial condensation, which means hidden water trapped or condensation trapped happening between the internal insulation and the existing wall, which may result in damage and or mold growth. 
Installing IWI does not allow the insulation to completely wrap the building as it is too difficult to insulate between the external wall and the party walls or party floors. This leads to thermal bridges where heat will continue to escape to the outside. Therefore, the energy savings of the internal wall insulation option is limited. We have included a section here showing how the insulation has to be fitted internally to all internal walls, to all external walls, sorry. All flats need to be insulated, so all flats will need to provide access to the contractors for this installation. This is therefore not our preferred option, as it will cause you more disruption, loss of internal area, and has a risk of structural and finishes damages from potentially heating condensation within the external walls. We would, of course, work to minimize any of this. Okay, windows. Windows are at the top of your top 10 priorities for the refurbishment. Windows are important for natural ventilation and daylight, but at the same time, they can be a source of air leakage around the frames and heat loss generally. We suggest upgrading the existing windows to triple glazing, which have a much better thermal performance than double glazed windows. We'll invite residents in due time to choose your preferred windows including their material, opening mechanisms, and color. Triple glaze windows are substantially better in terms of thermal comfort, energy savings, soundproofing, and reducing energy bills. Triple glaze windows will keep your heat in the colder months inside your homes and will keep the heat out in the hotter months of the year. Installing new windows will affect the, the appearance of the block but can still be kept relatively similar to the existing appearance if that's what you all prefer. Or you may want to choose some more modern windows to go with a renewed and modern appearance for your blocks. In terms of services, we propose to install MVHR units. This is mechanical ventilation with heat recovery, which is a fan unit that brings in fresh air and pre-warms this fresh air with the heat from the outgoing air during the, heat, during the heating season. This fresh, pre-warmed air is then distributed to all living areas of your flat, while the used, humid and stale air is extracted from kitchens and windows, uh, kitchens and bathrooms. The windows can still be opened, but you will still have optimum ventilation even if the windows are kept shut. In summertime, the MVHR automatically switches to summer bypass mode, in which the heat from the flat is not recovered by the unit. Instead, filter external fresh air is constantly supplied to the flat. This unit will need to be fitted into all flats to improve the ventilation. Each property will have the system installed, including ductwork and acoustic attenuators to all bedrooms, living rooms, kitchens and bathrooms. As these units recover the heat from the internal air, they massively reduce the need for heating and therefore heating bills. The design team will work with residents to identify the best possible location to install this ventilation unit inside each flat. They can be mounted at ceiling height or in a cupboard, depending on the type of the flat type and the available space within your homes. These types of units are currently being installed in most high-end residential buildings throughout the country, and they are quickly becoming standard practice to achieve the building regulation requirements for energy and ventilation targets in new builds. In terms of your heating, Camber Muse is currently not part of the local district heating system. TACE and other consultants are investigating options in order to include Camber Muse into the overall Lancaster West heat network. If the heat network feasibility study proves that it's technically and financially advantageous to include Camber Muse, then that would result in the removal of the individual gas boilers from each flat. And instead, each unit would be connected to the heat network, which will result in fewer carbon emissions as it transitions to be a zero carbon heat network over the next few years. Photovoltaic panels are also known as solar panels or PV panels. They collect the energy from the sun and turn it into electrical energy to power your homes. 
the solar panels supply the building with clean electricity, reducing the amount of electricity needed from the grid and reducing energy bills overall. This option will be further explored and co-designed with residents in the future. We'll meet over the next few weeks uh, in person and we look forward to hear from you about your concerns and your wishes for the internal communal areas. Some of the items for discussion will be the communal doors, the wall finishes, the stairs, the railings, the lighting and the entrance doors. We also want to know about your experience with the refused areas, how do you recycle and what could we do to improve these facilities? So please let us know what you think. We want to know how you feel about the initial design ideas and proposals presented to you today. We will be sending you a survey to fill in and return, or you can type the link below in your browser to complete an online survey about the proposals for your external blog refurbishment. We want to know your thoughts. Thank you all for your time and I'll look forward to meeting you all very soon. I'll now hand back to David. Brilliant. Thank you, Loriana. That was uh, very interesting to hear about all those proposals. Just to let everyone know that um, you can join a WhatsApp group that's specifically for Camborne Muse. Either scan the QR uh, codes on the left of the screen or you can click on the link just above the text to join your block WhatsApp group. There you'll find the uh, latest refurb and block information and you can also post um, refurb specific queries and get replies to your questions from from our team. Uh, next slide please. So I also wanted to let you know about our e-newsletter for residents of the Lancaster West Estate. It's the uh, best way to keep up to date with all the refurbishment news uh, across the entire state. Again, you can either scan the QR code uh, or there'll also be posters up on all the notice boards around the estate with the QR code. Um, or you can also find this information on our Instagram bio uh, at Lancaster West Neighbourhood Team. When you sign up, you also have the option of putting your specific block that you live in, and this will be really helpful um, just to stay up to date with anything specifically regarding to your block. So our recording of this meeting will be going up on our YouTube channel and will also be uh, available uh, and embedded in our We Are 11 uh, app, which you can also download from the App Store and on our website www.wrw11.org. If you do have any further questions about this presentation or comments, then please get in touch with myself um, or the Lancaster West Neighbourhood team. So I'd just like to thank uh, you very much, Loriana, and the rest of the team at ECD for this very useful presentation. Uh, so we will be ending the presentation here. Thanks all. Much appreciated and take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye.